if you bounce like this, it helps. Hey guys, happy Friday. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's Friday and day 11 of Vlogist. Um, I have this Life Proof Home Ceramic Coating Spray and I got this on Amazon when they were having their Prime Days. So I have, I've had it for a couple weeks and I haven't used it yet, but I heard a lot of good things about it on Facebook that it's really good for stainless steel and it helps prevent um, fingerprints and things. And so I opened it, but I haven't put it all together, but it comes with its own little cloth. It's just one of those, whatchamacallit type cloths. Um, so it comes with its own little cloth. And then here is the bottle of spray, the ceramic coating. And it also comes with its own little pump here. And it says it shines, seals, and protects up to 12 months. So not only can you put it on your stainless steel, but you can put it on your countertops, you can put it on glass. Um, see back for more. But anyway, I just pretty much got it for the fridge. But um, you clean the surface with any household cleaner, alcohol, or the Life Proof Home Pre-Cleaner. Okay, this is the coating, not the pre-cleaner. And then you apply, you spray a fine mist onto the desired surface and wipe with an included microfiber towel using the linear motion. And then you wipe off the residue immediately. So you wipe, buff, you immediately wipe and buff off the residue haze to a super slick streak free shine. And then you let it cure. So you let the coating cure for two hours before using the surface. So I have a stainless steel dishwasher, oven, that's pretty dirty, and then microwave and refrigerator. And I've got all sorts of pictures and stuff on here. So when I take down my, or when, I have to take everything down in order to clean it first, but yeah, I'm excited to try this. Meaning I'm excited to see what it's like. I'm not excited to actually clean it all because it's back breaking and it's gonna take a long time, especially when you have to buff it. It's like turtle wax. Oh, it's like buffing your car. You have to put all your elbow grease into it. So, We'll see how it works out. <laughs> but as you can see, I have got lots of fingerprints and goop all over. And it's not just me, it's Daryl. In fact, it's mostly Daryl. But, um, so yeah, I need to clean all this. And then we don't even use the water because the ice cubes and the water come out tasting like onions. It's really weird. We've cleaned the filters, we've cleaned the freezer out, and it did the same exact thing to our fridge in our old house, in our old neighborhood, and it also did the same thing at my dad's house. And so I don't know what it is about ice and refrigerator water. My friends don't do not do that. I don't know why ours does. Maybe it's just where we live. I don't know. So right now I'm using the alcohol. I said to use isopropyl alcohol. And I had a brand new bottle of it in my fridge or in my cupboard. So I'm just using this on a Dollar Tree cloth, the microfiber. It's not the greatest kind of cloth. This alcohol really does a good job at getting your fridge clean. It does streak a bit, but as far as cleaning the fridge, 
it look it works really well and I'm even remembering to clean the inside of the door which is really filthy Doesn't really, sm it smells like glue. Kind of smells like alcohol and Elmer's glue. And it's white and milky. All right, I've got it ready. I test sprayed it in the sink and it comes out in a fine mist, which is always nice. I get nervous when I do this kind of thing. Thoroughly cleaned, spray a fine mist onto the desired surface and then wipe in with included microfiber towel using a linear motion. Please let this work. Please, I'll do this little corner over here first. It's like I don't know how much to use. No streaking that I can tell. And it's super shiny. Oh, wow. Girl, I almost don't even need to buff it. It's pretty much buffed. That's nice. Real nice. I mean, it's kind of hard. Well, it's already kind of clean, so you're not really gonna see a massive difference, but I can see it and I will tell you, and that's all that matters. Wow. This is nice. It dries really fast. If you bounce like this, it helps. Nice. I love it. This is beautiful. I don't want anything on my fridge now. No coupons, no nothing. Okay, there it is. In all its shiny glory. That's really nice. And then you let it sit for two hours. Don't let anybody touch it. So I'll have to tell Daryl when he gets home, don't touch the fridge. Guess I'll be doing my other appliances now. Oh joy. The oven part of the stove went much better. The drawer is just kind of different. I'm not sure about that, but it's okay. It's clean at least. Nobody's really gonna see that anyway. But the door cleaned up really nicely. And then the microwave washed up really well too. So all I have left is my dishwasher and then I'll be done. So I don't know if you can see the streaks. I think you probably can, they go, they go this way. I don't know how to get those off but it's okay. Um, 
I've heard you can use baby oil and other things, but I didn't want to mess with that. I just wanted to try this product and it's decent. Um, I'll touch it in a couple hours and see if I can get a fingerprint. <laughs> I hope not. Daryl's home. Let's see what he brought home from work in the way of leftover treats, in the way of possible donuts, possible muffins, and possible cookies. I don't know, maybe he didn't bring home anything. Maybe everybody ate it all. I don't know. Ooh, we got croissants and a muffin and cookies. Oh, I love croissants. Croissant. Okay, guys, it's been over two hours, and I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my finger on the fridge and see if it makes a mark. And if it does, I'll be so sad. Oh. Yep. It made the mark right there. So in other words, this stuff does not prevent fingerprints. Not very well. Okay then. It is what it is. I'm still gonna use it and I still like it. And yeah. So now I have all this stuff on the, on the counter that I need to put away. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of the pictures or not. I kinda like having a clean refrigerator. So I'll see. I found these envelope magnets in my, just a basket that I had. So I have two of these soft ones. And then I also have this plastic one and they hold four by six. So I don't know. So it looks like here's the back. It's a full magnet. And then here's the front and then the pockets right here. Oh, that's nice and it's kind of framed. That looks nice. These are from Dollar Tree. I have, I've had them for a long time, probably three or four years. So I'm not sure if Dollar Tree still has them, but that's really nice. Hmm. I like it better than these hard ones. This one's not a four by six picture, but I'm gonna still put it in. There. These are Daryl's parents, his mom and dad. And then they just stick to the fridge. Oh. That's in the way right there, so let me put that. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I just left it like that. You got to have the coupons so we know we have them. But I just put a few things back up and put the rest away. I have a lot of magnets and things on the side that you can't see. But, and then these are just appointment reminders that will be soon taken off. And that's that. 
All right, so we have a pile of shoes on the floor right here. And I wanna show you what I have done. This is my old hamper that was in my closet. Well, now it's the shoe basket. It's the shoe hamper. I wanted um, a shoe rack in here for him, but Daryl doesn't want one. He just, for some reason, does not want a shoe rack. So I put this in here for his shoes. <laughs> there you go. And then some of them will f fit in the closet. But we are like, he's got one space left. There it is. I wish we had a bigger closet, but I guess we just need less shoes. He's got more shoes than I do. Well, not really, but almost. So this is the hamper we have now. This is our old hamper. We had this in our old house, and I cannot find the lid for the life of me, so... It just has no lid. Um, I like this one though, it's really tall, holds a lot more clothes. It's really thick and sturdy. They don't make them like this anymore. This, oh my gosh, we'd have to pay an arm and a leg for this stupid plastic thing um, nowadays. But uh, yeah, I like it. I wish it had a lid, but oh well, it is what it is. So, I didn't cook dinner. Daryl didn't want anything. I asked him if he wanted me to make him something, and he said no. He was taking a nap. So, I fed the baby, and I didn't want anything. I just had a croissant, and that's it. So, took a shower. I didn't go for a walk. I've been really sleepy today. So, anywho, we'll see you tomorrow, right? Kiss me. She don't want to kiss me. Alrighty then. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful sleepy.